There are some things that are not prayer points. They are principle points. So the number one principle for increase in the kingdom is soul winning. Because the most precious commodity in heaven is human soul. The only thing that will make the angel to stand up and dance is when one soul repents on earth. And you can't make God happy and not be fruitful on the other side of eternity. He said, you did not choose me, but I chose you. And appointed you that you should go and bear fruit. And that your fruit should remain. And that whatsoever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Not that not he may give you. The law of interpretation. He will, not he may. So if you want your prayer, if you are, you are bothered, why are my prayers not being answered? Are you adhering to this command? This is a major principle of scripture. And I said something in the first service. I said you can copy this scripture down. And then take out time this week to make sure that you lead someone to Christ. And you don't need to be an evangelist, an apostle, a prophet. It's the responsibility of every believer. As a matter of fact, Bible speaking in Acts 1 verse 8, that was the day of Pentecost. That was the commissioning. That was the birth of the church. Acts 1 verse 8. Acts of the apostles 1 verse 8. He said, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you and you shall be witnesses. The purpose of the Holy Ghost is not to call Holy Ghost fire on your enemies. It's to be a witness for Christ. It's to win souls for the kingdom. The purpose of the Holy Ghost that you have is to win souls for the kingdom. He said you shall be a witness. That's why we have been given the Holy Spirit. One of the terrible things that can happen to a couple is for them not to have children. People go to every extreme to fight. Statistics, as I should actually show globally, not only in Africa, that very few people on earth are comfortable with not having children. Very few in the whole world. Not only in Africa. So don't think it's a black man's problem. No, people are not comfortable not having biological children. As a matter of fact, you, people go through all kinds of things, sacrifice anything possible. Some Christian backs like to go and meet if a priest because they want to get pregnant. As a matter of fact, some men permit their wives, which is one of the horrible things, one of the most horrible things that a man will ever do. They permit their wife to go sleep with other men to get pregnant. That's how important having biological children can be. But how come we are very comfortable with not having spiritual children? And every truth is parallel. If having biological children is that precious, having spiritual children is more precious. Because as a matter of fact, except your biological children are born again, in heaven you won't see them. But for spiritual children, you will see them both on earth and in heaven. Why? You need to think a little bit, ponder. You need to consider it. How long have you been a Christian? Is there anybody in church anywhere this morning because of you? If there's none, something is not right with your Christianity. Some of us, our, our husbands are not born again. Some of us, our wives are not born again. Some of us, our children are not born again. Our cousins, our parents are not born again. And we are comfortable. As a matter of fact, if I ask you now to bring your list of expectation this year before God, to bring it now, there will be nobody's name on it. Meanwhile, your family, you are the only born again. You are even bragging about it. Do you really believe that there's hellfire? You need to check what you believe. If you really believe that this Christianity is true and that there's heaven to, to gain and hell to lose, then your desire for people to get born again will be better than this. And one other beautiful thing <clears throat> about being born again is not only about going to heaven. God has capacity to change lives. That young boy that is a drunk in your neighborhood, if the Holy Ghost come upon him, you'll be shocked. That lady that sleeps with everything in trousers, if the Holy Ghost come upon her, you'll be shocked. God has capacity to change people. Lord, fight. Lord, fight. Yeah, yeah.